So the next step is evaluation. This is a constant challenge. You need to constantly evaluate your talents, your skills with the vision that you have. This evaluation entails that you find out whether your skill sets, whether your abilities, whether your time frame is realistic and within your capabilities. You can do it, you can get it done. So there's no point to envision, educate yourself, and then not be able to evaluate your skills, your potentials against that person that you want to be. And as you progress in life, that vision might change, your abilities might change, so that constant evaluation remains as a means of making sure you're on the right path and you're maximizing your abilities and your capabilities. Now, after evaluation comes election. Electing the desired path and the vision that you want to materialize. Now you had a chance to envision what you want to be. You had a chance to educate yourself about it. You had a chance to evaluate your capabilities. And now comes elect, electing the path and the path that you want to continue on. Remember, universe is a smart. So if your election is not within your capabilities and reach, if it's not with your passion, it's not going to get the right signal through your subconscious and you basically are sabotaging it. You need to be in a very comfortable position. Electing the right path is essential. That's where the balance of this process, the roadmap, would require that commitment in electing the right path. Now that you have evaluated and elected your path, the next step is ensure. You need to ensure that your skill sets, your capabilities, your time frame, and what you want to do is all aligned, and that you have seen the negative, the positive, the obstacles in it, and you are ensuring that all you have is behind you and aligned with you. That's the only way that the universe will listen to you and would align its forces behind you. So ensure that you have the right tools, the right capabilities, the right commitments to follow through.